I grew up in Minneapolis and still have some business interests and family in the area, so I make it home a few times per year. With pizza being my go-to food no matter where I travel, I'm here to give my take on the best pizza Minneapolis throws at you. There's something for everyone here, so let's get right into it. Where to get pizza in Minneapolis? 1. Minneapolis is a hotbed for diverse and quality-driven pizza experiences. With an emphasis on unique crusts, high-quality ingredients, and a variety of styles catering to different tastes and dietary preferences. 2. Local pizza gems like Red Rabbit and Baluto set the standard for unique takes on traditional pizza, offering distinctive doughy delights and introducing Minneapolis-style pizza with a touch of sweetness and sea salt. 3. While artisanal and locally owned pizzerias dominate the scene, you won't hear any locals say anything bad about Minnesota's best-kept secret, Heggie's Frozen Pizza, about my Minneapolis pizza rankings. Again, pizza is by far my favorite food and it's not even close. I've had the best pizzas in New York City, Italy, and all over the world. While many people may not think about Minneapolis as a pizza destination, think about how cold it gets in the winter and how many times you just want the simplicity of a pizza either by takeout or delivery. I live that live and have to say the Minnesota pizzeria scene is pretty strong. When rating pizzas, I go off a few factors. One, consistency. Two, quality. Three, uniqueness. I'll also say that I have a lot of range in my pizzas. My preferred pizza is a well-done thin and crispy crust, but I'll never turn down a deep dish Chicago-style pizza or even a Connecticut or Detroit-style pizza. I really don't care about ambiance in a restaurant when I go out for pizza. But hey, if it has it, that's a bonus. So without further ado, here's a list of some of the best pizzas in Minneapolis, as well as a few notes on each. Where is the best pizza in Minneapolis? Pizza Loose. I usually stay in the North Loop neighborhood when I'm in Minneapolis, and in particular at the Hewing Hotel. I'm a creature of habit and like routines, what can I say? This puts me in walking distance to Pizza Loose, which to me makes itself unique with it as speciality pies. They have an elote pizza, a potato pizza, and of course their signature pizza, the Loose, which offers Italian sausage, fresh garlic, onion, and mozzarella. I've never had a bad pie here and always come back for more. Young Joni. Ann Kim is a James Beard award-winning chef, and it truly shows in this Northeast Minneapolis pizzeria and restaurant, featuring wood-fired pizzas and a huge, diverse menu of global dishes. For those who don't want pizza, you can't go wrong in this vibrant setting. Speciality pizzas include the Korean BBQ, the Perfect Pickle Pie, and La Parisienne, which features prosciutto di parma, gruyere, ricotta, brown butter, caramelized onion, arugula, pickled mustard seed, Every pie here is immaculately crafted with top-quality ingredients, which you'd expect from an award-winning chef. In fact, this was named a new best restaurant in America, and I don't disagree. Black Sheep Coal-Fired Pizza If you are looking for a hand-tossed traditional crust cooked in a coal-fired oven, look no further than Black Sheep Coal-Fired Pizza. Located in Minneapolis Warehouse District on Washington Avenue, this one makes easily makes the list of top pizza in Minneapolis because it's very consistent. Whether you want a simple cheese pizza or something more exotic like the oyster mushroom pie, you will get a perfectly cooked pizza every time at Black Sheep. You can also get craft beers, house-made cocktails, and wine by the glass or bottle, in addition to select appetizers. Barstool sports owner Dave Portnoy offered this Black Sheep pizza review in his famous One Bite Pizza Reviews that he is famous for. He rated it an 8.3, and anyone who follows his reviews knows that's on the high end of his ratings as he's a serious pizza critic. Pizzeria Lola Chef Ann Kim is also involved in this one, so naturally you know what to expect. High-quality pizza coming out of one of the best-built pizza ovens I've ever seen makes this an easy choice. Exotic pizzas such as Korean BBQ, Smokey the Pig, and a Cubano make this an interesting experience for even the most seasoned pizza lover. Some of these pies overlap with what she cooks at Young Joni, so if you can't get into one of these venues, try the other. You can always go with traditional pizza options like the Old Reliable or the Sweet Italian, if you want a classic pie. Rectangle Pizza. This is a Detroit-style pizza you can find in Malcolm Yards Market and around Minneapolis. I usually hit up the North Loop Galley location as that's where I set up home base when visiting. It's a very filling slice of pizza made from super high quality ingredients. They actually won Best Breakfast Pizza in America on none other than Good Morning America. Boludo. This is an interesting one that is very unique to Minneapolis. A crust on the sweet side that has a topping of, wait for it, sea salt, make this a unique pie worth trying. I'm familiar with this flavor because it's made by Argentinians, something we have a lot of down here in South Florida. I really appreciate this unique flavor and the very unusual shape of the crust. 
They offer a solid cook for that perfect well-done crust which I am always a fan of. As a bonus, if you're looking for some adventure, dive into their Argentinian empanadas. Cosetta in St. Paul. As someone who appreciates history and tradition, this one really hits home with me, especially since I grew up just miles south of this classic eatery with a great backstory. Michael Cassetta came from Calabria, Italy in the 1800s and decided to settle in St. Paul. By 1911, he had opened a small food market with his own namesake called Cassetta's. Anyone who sought gourmet Italian food flocked here from many towns away, and the legend grew. The current location stems back to 1984 and made a name for itself with award-winning pizza, freshly made homemade sauce, and handmade Italian sausages. This fourth-generation family continues to offer the same old-school hospitality well after its 100-year anniversary. How's that for some tradition? Okay, I know this isn't in Minneapolis, but it's just minutes away in the other twin city, St. Paul. Cosetta isn't just a pizzeria, it's an establishment. The multi-story venue not only offers the best Italian market in the Twin Cities, but also pizza, even by the slice, in addition to a full deli and quick-eat Italian dishes. If you have a crowd that doesn't want just pizza, and perhaps a salad eater here, you can rest assured there is something for everyone here. Again, this is in St. Paul. For me, the dynamic of having a full Italian market, gourmet coffee bar, incredible subs and sandwiches, plus pizza, Make this a great place for large groups and a very unique experience whether you dine in or take out. Heggie's Pizza. If you know, you know. Heggie's Pizza is the pride of Malacca, Minnesota, and it has a huge following in Minnesota. Available at most gas stations for about $11. This is indeed a frozen pizza. Most people would never add a frozen pizza to the list of best pizza in Minneapolis, but many bars that don't have kitchens simply cook these in pizza ovens and serve them to very enthused customers. Not a trip back home goes without eating at least one Heggie's Inferno pizza. I like it so much that I gladly pay for it online and get it shipped to Florida using Gold Belly. Summary. You can't go wrong at any of these establishments. I'm a pizza lover and can vouch for all of these. Whether you want Detroit-style, thin crust, deep dish, or something exotic, Minneapolis pizzerias offer it all.